we want to determine the limit if it exists. We have the limit of the rational function as x approaches negative 9. Right away, notice how if we try to perform direct substitution, we have a zero in the denominator, which indicates we cannot determine the limit by performing direct substitution. Sometimes when we have a rational function, we can simplify the rational expression so that we can then determine the limit by performing direct substitution. In this case, that won't happen because the square of x plus 9 doesn't equal x squared minus x minus 56. But let's go ahead and still try to factor and simplify. If the numerator does factor, it'll factor into two binomial factors. The factors of x squared are x and x. The factors of negative 56 that add to negative 1 are negative 8 and a positive 7, giving us a factor of x minus 8 and a factor of x plus 7. So notice how the rational function does not simplify, and therefore the rational function does not have removable discontinuity. Let's consider the one-sided limits. Let's first consider the limit as x approaches negative 9 from the left. Looking at just the numerator, as x approaches negative 9 from the left, the numerator is going to approach the square of negative 9 minus negative 9 minus 56. Simplifying, we have 81 plus 9 minus 56, which is equal to 34. So the numerator is going to approach 34. And it doesn't really matter whether it's approaching 34 from values greater than 34 or less than 34. What's important is it is approaching a positive value. And now looking at the denominator, as x approaches negative 9 from the left, x plus 9 is going to approach 0 from the left or from negative values. But because we're squaring the result, the denominator is going to approach a 0 from the right or from positive values. So the denominator is approaching zero, but from the positive side. So if the numerator is approaching a positive constant, and we're dividing by smaller and smaller positive values approaching zero, the function values are going to approach positive infinity. And now let's consider the limit as x approaches negative nine from the right. Well, the numerator is still going to approach positive 34, in the denominator, x plus 9 is going to approach 0 from the positive side, or positive values this time, but then again we're squaring it, so the denominator is still approaching 0 from the positive side, or from values greater than 0. And therefore the limit from the right is also approaching positive infinity. Because both one-sided limits are approaching positive infinity, we can state the visual limit is also approaching positive infinity. And now let's verify these results from a table as well as a graph. As we approach x equals negative 9 from the left, or values less than negative 9, we can see the function values increase without bound and approach infinity. Similarly, as we approach x equals negative 9 from the right, or values greater than negative 9, again, the function values increase without bound and approach positive infinity. This verifies the original limit is approaching positive infinity. And now for the graph, let's sketch a vertical line at x equals negative 9. As we approach from the left, we can see the values increase without bound. Similarly, as we approach from the right, again, the function values increase without bound and approach positive infinity. I hope you found this helpful.